great. On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, we are here at the Car Ninja shop with the 2011 Audi A6, and we're gonna try to make it drive straight. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jay Ergo and today I'm here with John. We've got the Audi on the alignment lift. And the thing is when I'm driving down the road, the wheel is canted just that much over to the driver's side. So we're gonna throw it on the lift and try to figure out what's going on. I love this lift. Me too. I'd love to get one, but then I have to cut a hole in my floor. <laughs> this is the only right way to do it for yeah. sure. Oh, the lights just came on. Underbody lights. We've got the targets on the wheels, and you just roll it forward until the green lights flip on there, like they just did. And the turning plates unlock. This thing's magic. Yes. Magic. Good job, Audi. Great place to put a barcode. It's got an. It's an S line. So I would oh, assume sport, 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 but I don't know which sport. Uh, I think it's this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> and then it, I don't think I have either. See, I don't think there's really anything that is not located when you put the engine back in. And I know you just did one too, and Johnny said it didn't need a line at all. No, what is... I did is I kind of matched up because you can slide the whole subframe uh, like either way. Yeah, just so, a little bit. Yes. Just, yeah. So that's probably where this is. Okay. But it, it's not way off. Though. No, it's not way off. And also, you're not gonna wear any tires from it, and it's not gonna pull. So what what kills me is the wheel is vague. Really? It doesn't. Uh, there's no like center. It doesn't. Oh, ever, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so. that's that's where this comes in. All right, the alignment is dead on. Thanks to John, he knocked it out in a couple seconds. It was just the toe. So we changed the tie rod ends just a little bit and uh, straighten the wheel back up too. Also, I rechecked every bolt on the suspension because, you know, we finally got to drive it. A few had loosened up a little bit, so they're all hand tight again. Uh, you know, hand tight with a pretty big ratchet. And uh, the transmission mount was a bit loose. But now, speaking of transmissions, we're gonna shoot a little bit of fluid into the transmission to make up for what got lost when we disconnected the lines. And that should be about it. Also, there's a little creak in the steering and hopefully my tightening the bolts solve the creek. So to do the oil on the ZF 6HP26, which is like the standard German transmission, this is actually a ZF 6HP19. But uh, right there on the side, you can see that Allen bolt that's backed out just a little bit right there. And that is what you pull out to fill. Last night I had a hood open warning too. Really? Yeah, it was driving me nuts. I was like, the hood is closed. I checked it over and over. It turns out the wires on the sensor, the insulation had degraded. Oh. So I taped over it and it was fixed. Oh, nice. Yeah. I made new insulation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's a little low. She's a little low. Stick her in there. Give it a big push. Yep. That's about half a quart. I'd expect it to be maybe a quart low. That's, you know, that's what I'm thinking. It takes like nine quarts, right? Something like that. Yeah. It's quite a bit. It is a ton of fluid. There it is. Oh, yeah. So it was just a little over half. It's test time. So first things first, we gotta put this thing back in park and pull the brake depressor off. And now we're gonna run out and see if the steering wheel's straight. No creak. I think we've already fixed most of it. I relearned the windows last night. They auto up now. There's a big to-do list after you finish a engine out job like this with the battery disconnected for so long got a little bit of the car clean of course already no creak when you turn so i think we solved one major problem relearned the tpms last night the only lights left are gearbox malfunction and uh fog and brake pad so i need to check the brake linings obviously Fog light, still need to coat out. I gotta find somebody with Vajcom, I think, because I'm just not having any luck. Oh, the steering wheel's perfectly straight. Yes, it's not vague anymore either. 
So before, this thing was just always trying to change lanes on me. And now, I can just let go of it and it stays where it's pointed. So, perfect. And the steering wheel's straight. I'm calling this a W. Update, driver's side rear window motor is broken. Needs a new regulator. But I'm super happy on the flip side. It was only three quarters of a quart low on the transmission. Uh, that means it's completely fine and I can, for the first time, get on the car. And it's properly quick. <laughs> that was not full throttle at all. That was like a three quarter throttle pull and it feels awesome. Ah, this car, it's almost complete. Detail, regulator, a few other little things. Ninja! So, this is out of a 760 or something? 50. 750? Yes. X. Yes. This is the all wheel drive twin turbo power plant out of a 750. And just look at how insane this job is. So Johnny's doing valve stem seals. Typical BMW thing, as you would expect, but on the old port injection days, I feel like this was a much better job. <laughs> because now you gotta pull all the DI stuff off. I mean, I love DI, but you gotta pull all that off. The sensor, like the harness and sensor setup on this engine is wild. So just so many cam position sensors and it's pretty crazy. This thing is packed in there. It's well packaged, but packed in there. Hot V turbos are right here. This is nuts. Look at that. I love that it has like an octopus coming it's off of spaghetti. each side. They did a pretty good job managing it. Yeah. yeah. This uh, one though, this one kills me. All this shielding and it's exposed. And like, oh no, that's, it's not shielding. That's the battery cable itself. Yep, and it's exposed. It pump. is totally yep. exposed. Yep. I, th I thought I was looking at the actual harness right there for a second. This is huge, man. This is like a diesel truck size power plant. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I figured I'm here. You gonna help? I'll unplug things. Cool. You got a 10? Yes. This is my second this week. Second one this week? Yep. You're an animal. <laughs> we got one more connector right here, one of the push style. There we go. All right, now everything clears. And we can wiggle this connector out. Yeah, cool. All right, that's most of the harness. Oh, the DI injector yep. is definitely a... What a connector. Yeah. What kind of index is this? Oh, 11. They're good, they're updated. Yeah. What's like, the current rev's like 12, right? 12, yes. Yeah. Nice, got good DI injectors in this thing. All the hard lines come off, huh? Yeah, let me get you a wrench. Cool. Uh, usually what I do, Yep. break those loose. Yep. This and this, and completely out, and then just loosen those and then... Pull the rail with it all. Yeah. Brian showed up too, so we had the twin turbo Huracan in the shop for a bit, and uh, John was checking that out. And now I am headed back to the shop to try to get this thing cleaned up for tomorrow morning. No, no, no! <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. You guys wanted to see me take the fire truck to Cars and Coffee for some reason. There were a lot of comments about it. We're gonna do that. Today I'm here in front of my house with a friend's GTR a Rolls Royce, a twin turbo Audi R8 in the garage, and a big single turbo fire truck sitting out front. So, 
Uh, it's time to start the fire truck because unfortunately it has to run for like ever. So let's get some air pressure in this thing. I know it's really annoying. I feel bad for the neighbors almost, but it's got to run. It is pretty crazy having this thing parked in front of my house. I like the uh, aesthetic here. <laughs> we did wipe it all down last night in the dark, obviously, so it's kind of just smeared it. But you got to love the way it looks. It's chilling in the neighborhood. What a majestic beast. All right, I actually have air already, so I think I'm ready to hop in this thing and head to the first concert. And now we have tons of air pressure. We are ready to drive this thing. And we're off. GTR is following me. I don't know why. I'm like the slowest thing on the road. It was a long night driving this thing all the way over here from the warehouse. Also, it's so loud when you're first starting out. Come on, psychic gear. There it is. Okay. Right where I needed it. Nice and chill. Like no one's in the official fire truck parking spot yet. I know where I'm parking this. Right up front where we usually stick the hurricane. You guys, look at Silent Bob. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Dude, I don't see it. My yeah. wife saw it. <laughs> I showed her, she's like, I don't know who that is. Showed her, she's like, I can see it. None of us have seen that movie in years. <laughs> I feel like this is some good parking now. Oh, yeah. We found a wild notary. But it's a, uh, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see Nothing. you. I'm just admiring the car that mine could have looked like. I already heard the story of this car, and I was like, dang, I wanted that. I know. What a win. I know. Big W's here. Are you rolling out? Yeah, we gotta hit him, we gotta do some stuff. Good to see you though, buddy. Always good to see this. Yeah, she came out for us. I love it. It's like the first time it's here, right? Well, I was out last weekend, but yeah. So, man, they had another project for you, so. We just found out that having a fire truck is the coolest place to sit. I wish I had chairs. We could have hung out up here the whole time. Well, I didn't really shoot anything, but we let all the kids sit in it. Everybody got to get in, hang out. Got the lights and sirens. Uh, we'll hit the sirens a couple times. Good times. It's a good look. Man, it's blowing antifreeze out the uh, overflow now that it's all tilted sideways. Well, the A6 is that much closer and the fire truck is back at the warehouse. It was a very long drive taking it back when it became like 110 degrees and the temp gauge was slowly creeping up. I ended up doing like 45 the whole way, but we got it back there and it's totally fine, of course. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjerogo.com for cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I'll talk to you next time. Here we go. Are we going to eat? Yeah, where do you want to go? The usual? Yeah, we can do the usual. I'm fine with that. I'm just going to run home and get rid of this.